Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pardogan, Ontario, Canada, for tonight's WLA Senior AA Men's Hockey Contest between the host, Soggy Shores Winterhawks, and the visiting Minto 81s. On, this, on the dock tonight, two other games going on, and they're good ones. Uh, first up, the 10-0 Ripley Wolves are in Clinton. Clinton is 9-4 on the season. It goes in Clinton tonight. The other game on the dock is 0-9 Shallow Lake at 5-4-1 Durham. We'll keep those scores updated as we go along. Quick look at the standings updates. The Ripley Wolves and Soggy and Shores Winterhawks currently tie for the lead in the league with 20 points apiece. Clinton and Shelburne nipping at their heels. They have 18 points respectively. Seaforth with 15 is in fifth. Tavistock at sixth and 12th. Durham at seventh and 11th. Tilsonburg at eight and at 10 points. Milverton and Alora both with nine. Petrolia with eight, Minto with seven, Lucknow with four, and Shallow Lake with zero. Uh, up first for the Soggy and Shores Winterhawks, they are dangerous. They are led by Brent McDermott and Miles McLean, both dangerous, dangerous players on this Soggy and Shores Winterhawks team. They will be looked at and relied on heavily in tonight's game against the 81s. For the 81s, they are led by Wade Pfeffer and Adam Kowalik both having remarkable seasons thus far. They have a great line mate in Zach Graham. That line is dangerous for the Minto 81s. Uh, starting in goal tonight for the 81s is Ben Nelson. Starting in goal for the Stogging Shores Winterhawks is Eric Kichev. Uh, it should be a great game here from Sogging Shores, Ontario, Pernogan, Ontario, the Plex. It's my hometown, it's my old stomping grounds, and it should be a dandy of a game between the 81s and Soggy and Shores Winterhawks. Uh, the puck drop in this one is next. Stick around, we'll be back. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Palmer, uh, Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, for tonight's WOA Senior AA Men's Hockey Contest between the hosts, Soggy and Shores Winterhawks, and the visiting Minto 81s. 81s come into the game 3-6-1, and one, while Soggy and Shores is 10-1-0. and zero. Not playing for Minto tonight is number seven, Brady Anderson, number nine, Jordan Delorier, number 15, Francois Cote, number 25, Tommy Hogars, number 47, AJ Nickel, and number 55, Kyle Ellis. Not playing for Soggy and Shores is Jay Thompson, Connor Patton, uh, Jamie Shoemaker, Theo Peckham, and Adam Kading. We are underway as the Winterhawks have it off the opening faceoff. Andy Mitchell sends it ahead in the neutral zone where it was out of the reach of Andy Fraz. And now Adam Kowalik comes up with it through the neutral zone. He'll skate it across the line. Shot! Stopped by Pichev. And he hangs on for the faceoff. Nice save early on from the starting goalie, number 33, Eric Pinchev of Soggy and Shores. Nice save early on. He uh, grabs that puck with ease and he makes the save and hangs on. Winner of uh, 81's control it off the face off. There's a shot, that's blocked by Soggy and Shores. And they'll try and get it to the line and they will and it's out. This is eight, uh, number 12, Jake Pleon sends it over to Witzel. Ahead to Wade Pfeffer was out of his reach and it's now into the Soggy and Shores zone. Number seven, the anchor of Soggy and Shores, Greg Cady has it behind his own net. He'll take it control there, he'll play it all the way ahead and it's gonna go out past everyone all the way down the ice for the icing call. Starting in goal, yes, for the 81s is Ben Nelson. Starting in goal for Soggy Shores, Eric Pinchef, number 33. Offensive zone faceoff coming up here for Minto. Austin Gabry out there for Minto on the draw. He's with Tyler Harrison and Colin Hartwick. Hartwick has the puck there at the uh, He tried to get a shot off, but it was the, uh, it was stopped easily by Sogging Shores and they'll control it in the winner in the 81 zone. So come ahead. Trent Hawk tried to send it in front, but Shane Ross did a nice job defensively. Gadbury has the puck now in his own end and he'll skate it out. He'll circle back, send it over to Shane Ross, who wears number 22 for Minto. He's out there with Captain Mike Pleon. He wears 21. Pleon has it now. He'll send it around to Tyler Harrison. Harrison picks up the puck. He'll send it across to Ross. Ross has got an open wing and he'll send it ahead to Colin Hartwick. Hartwick tried to dump it in on Pinchev, but it was blocked. It's still in the zone and Pleon has it now. This is Mike. Backhand toward Pinchev, rebound. It's in the middle still, they bang away at it. And it comes to the line. Pleon has it for the 81s. He'll send it in, it hits Harrison, he's got it. He'll send it back behind the net. Gabri 
He was looking for Harwick, but it, all, it missed him in front. And now here's number 37, Lachlan Elder. Elder in across the line. Oh, good defensive play by Pleon to deflect that away. It's gonna come around the boards. Pfeffer sends it ahead to Zach Graham and he's gonna skate it across center ice and into the Sogging Shore zone. He'll play it there, oh, he'll make the move, oh! Nice chance, but he'll put it wide of uh, Pinchev. Winterhawks have it, but now Kowalik steals it, he'll put it across, here's a shot, they score! And the 81s are on the board. What a shot from Zach Graham on the feed from Adam Kowalik in the 81 strike first. It's 1 0 Minto. It's good. And so, with 17.44 to play, Minto has struck first. They lead it 1 0. Zach Graham scores. One assist will go to Adam Kowalik. We'll wait for the second. Aiken sends it back to Jamison Buck. He'll play it ahead. This is number 11, Denver Hill. He sends it in. A way to get it is Drew Shantz. He's in there on the four check. Minto trying to, trying to get even with the, 80, uh, with the Winter Hawks after Sugging Shores beat Minto 5-2 earlier on this season. So Kowalik and Pfeffer get assists on the goal, and the 81s have the lead early on here in the first period. Josh Hopkins sends it ahead. Andy Fraz sends it all the way around. It'll come to the sideboards now. In deep with it was Andy Mitchell. He tried to come up with it. This line of Andy Mitchell, Andy Fraz, and Biles McLean. That puck goes all the way down the ice. It's going to be icing against Minto. Faceoff's going to come back here in the Minto zone to the right-hand side of Ben Nelson. 81's come into the game looking for a third straight win. A couple of really nice wins last weekend. A 6-4 victory in Milverton before dominating the 9-2 uh, nine, nine and two Shelburne Muskies to the tune of a 6-2 score. Faceoff controlled by the Winterhawks in the Minto zone. It's in, it's in deep in the corner. Battle for it there, but it's pinned against the boards and they'll whistle it down. Really nice gesture there by Sogging Shores to say that. Thank you very much. That means a lot. John Davinsky and uh, Jordan McKinnon, they do a wonderful job here in Sogging Shores. Puck is sent all the way into the zone. Caleb Witzel back for it. It's played there by Jake Pleon. He'll put it ahead. Pleon playing in his first game. He's missed the last few due to a wrist injury. It's nice to see him back in the Minto lineup. Faceoff is going to come back here in the Minto zone on the icing call. <laughs> Tyler Harrison tried to flip it to the official, but he didn't even realize where he was. That was kind of humorous. Out on the ice for the Winterhawks now is Blake Underwood. He's out there with Trent Hawk and uh, Curtis Johnston on this line. In across the lines, quality shot. Nice save from Pinchef, and he'll hang on. Kowalik very dangerous for the Minto 81s. He is, uh, he is absolutely lethal on the wing when he comes in on his strong side, on his shooting side. But uh, Pinchef equal to the task and he'll make the save. Puck comes out in front dangerously. Curtis Johnson had it stripped away by the other 28. Adam Kowalik, it's in front, nice save, Pinchef. Puck is to the side of the net, it's to be controlled by Blundell and he'll get it up to Curtis Johnson. Across to Trent Hawk. Hawk sends it to Johnson, but he was nicely tied up in front. 81's turn. Three on two the other way. This is Zach Graham. He's got the 81's goal. He'll put it across. Kowalik shoots. Pinchef makes the save and he'll put it to the side. He's got it again. Shot. Oh, that goes into the netting and behind Pinchef and it's out of play and it will be whistled down. Great opportunity for the 81's as they came down the ice three on two with Graham, Pfeffer, and Kowalik and they got a really nice chance off. But... Uh, Winterhawks goalie Eric Pinchev equal to the task. Face off controlled by the Winterhawks. They'll bring it ahead. This is number 37, Lachlan Elder. He gets bodied in by Jamison Buck, and the Winterhawks, or Minto 81s, have it. Dylan Hoffman on the ice now. 
Nice to see him back in the game. He took a wicked body check in the Shelburne game on Saturday. Aiken. Oh, it's away. Here's Kazarian. Shot blocker save Nelson. Huge save from Nelson early on in this first period. Puck sent ahead. Denver Hill tried to get it out. But now the 81's control. It's in their own end, but it's stripped away. To the net. Nelson blocker save. Hoffman just put it on the boards, but it gets to the line and it's kept in. Quaid across. Shot to the net. Nelson save. Aiken has it on the backhand and he'll send it to the line. This will come out as Denver Hill skates it away. He'll stick it in and he'll go off for a change. Nice couple of saves from Ben Nelson as he looks really sharp early on in this first period. Puck is sent ahead, it's intercepted by Colin Hartwick. He'll turn it back into the Winter Hawks zone. There's a shot by Hartwick. That uh, took a deflection and went wide harmlessly of the net of Pinchev. Puck goes ahead, Winter Hawks will send it in and Nelson will stop it in behind the net. He'll play it away from Whistle. Oh, James McKegg almost caught the Minto 81's napping, but it didn't, uh, didn't end up in the back of the net. This puck will be played to the line, and it is out. Mike Rocca out there with James McKegg, and uh, McKegg will get it, and he'll play it across to Greg Tatey, the anchor, the legend of the Winter Hawks, Greg Tatey, number seven. And across the line, Andy Mitchell had it stripped away from him. Caleb Whistle will just play it ahead, and it will be sent in by Gabri. Tatey has it again. He'll send it ahead. It's in the neutral zone. And this is Miles McLean in across the line with Andy Mitchell. Shot! Oh, that just missed the blocker side. Nice rush by Mitchell and Miles McLean. That one goes off the Minto bench, but it's not whistled down. Here's Gabri across the line. Nice move to get around Josh Dial, but he can't control the puck. It's in deep. They fight after it now. Winter, Winterhawks come up with it and they'll send it to the line and out. Mike Pleon just sends it in the, at the center line all the way back in and Tatey's forced to come back with it. We're at the 13.08 mark of period number one. Minto 81's leading one nothing. Shane Ross has it in the neutral zone. He'll put it over, Mike Pleon with it now. He'll send it ahead, Graham had to go off his stick and this is Trent Hawk. Oh, nice play from Ross to take it off of Trent Hawk's stick. Very nice defensive play by Shane Ross. Mike Pleon. Sends it ahead, Gab, uh, Pfeffer will tip it in, and the Winterhawks are forced to come back. This is Josh Dial, number 10 of Soggin Shores. 12.40 to play here in period one. One nothing Minto is the score. Very high tempo early on here. Andrew Rogers on the play-by-play. -play. Thank you very much for watching. Zach Graham has it in the neutral zone. He'll play it back to Pleon. He'll put it over to Wade Pfeffer. Pfeffer, big body check, as Josh Dial filled him in on the sideboards. Pleon has it now. Leon will send it ahead, Pfeffer will tip it in and it'll give chase. Graham and Kowalik back as the Winterhawks control. This is Captain Trevor Smith. He wears 24 of Sogging Shores. He'll play it ahead, this is Blake Underwood. Underwood had it stripped away. Hawk has it now at the red line and he'll just back it in and the Winterhawks will go for a change. Puck will come all the way around and Wade Pfeffer will be forced to play it there. Oh, he just backhanded it in the neutral zone, but it was intercepted by the Winterhawks. Shield shot, that just missed on the glove side. Here's Drew Schantz with it now. Schantz will play it ahead. Adam Kowalik, he's got speed, he stops up. He'll wait for help. He'll find the point man, this is Jameson Buck, shot! Right into the bread basket of Pinchef, and he holds on for the faceoff. Nice rush, nice job by Adam Kowalik to stop up and wait for a man to pass it to. He was able to find Jamison Buck and he got a nice shot off, but uh, it was stopped easily by the Winterhawks goaltender. Uh, Jamison Buck out there with Chris Hardy, number five for Minto. Drew Schantz plays it in deep. Aiken has it along the boards and Schantz has it now. Oh, he tried to find Denver Hill, but it was nicely deflected away by number nine, Brendan Kazar Brian Kazarian. There's a shot. That hit Aiken in front and it was deflected away. Here comes Elder. Elder. Skates it to the line, oh it's in, but it's offside. They call it on the offside as Matt Shields was in ahead of the play. It took a deflection at the blue line and they tried to bring it in across anyways and it was whistled down on the offside. 11-12 to play here in period one from the Plex in Port Elgin. Very nice crowd out to see the Soggin Shores Winterhawks and the Minto 81s here in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Nick Quaid back to get it in the Winterhawks zone. He'll control it in behind the net of Pinchef. Comes away with it. He's the, met there by Pfeffer who's forced, he's forced to make a move and he'll send it in all on Nelson in around the net. 
Nelson will play it around. It'll come to Pfeffer on the sideboards. He'll leave it there. And this is Wade Pfeffer. Oh! Sorry, Zach Graham, he got bodied in as he sent the puck in. He's got the puck again, no. Sends it to Pfeffer, he's all out in front, backhand. Nice save, Pinchev, and he hangs on. Wow, that was dangerous for Minto. But I don't think Pfeffer got a great shot across on the backhand, and it was easily stopped by Pinchev, and he hangs on. Nice play, though, from Minto. We're nearing the halfway point of period number one. 81s continue to lead, 1-0. Puck is in deep to the Winterhawk zone. This comes across to Tatey. Tatey will skate it ahead. He'll put it to Andy Fraz. Fraz into the Mitchell, the, uh, into the middle to Mitchell. He tried to get along, uh, around Witzel, but it didn't work out. Puck is around. Shane Ross will play it, but oh, body in was Colin Hartwick. That puck comes in front. It's going to come to the line. Greg Tatey keeps it in. Send it in deep. This puck's going to go all the way out, and it's going to bound into the uh, spectator area. And we're going to get a face off here. Hartwick up there with Josh Dial, number 10. They have words. Hartwick didn't like that he was bodied down from behind. And uh, there's some discussions going out on the ice. You can hear every bit of it. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, we play on here. Face off coming up to the right hand side of Ben Nelson. 10 11 to go here in period one. Minto 81's leading, 1 0. Jake Pleon sends it around. Hartwick tips it in the middle, and Tyler Harrison has it. Oh, he was nicely deflected away by Josh Dial on the defense. Puck comes to Gabri at the line. He keeps it in. Put it ahead to Harrison, but it was out of his reach, and it comes all the way back. And it's going to go for icing. Icing call against the Winterhawks, and the faceoff will come back in the Soggy and Shores zone. Uh, two other games, as mentioned, going on this evening. Both of them underway now. Uh, the 0-9 Shell Lake Crushers are at the 5-4-1 Durham Thundercats. And uh, the other game on hand is a juicy one, and that features the 10-0 Ripley Wolves and the 9-4 Clinton Raiders. That goes in Clinton tonight. Winterhawks have it. This is a head into the neutral zone, and it's sent all the way in, and they'll give chase. Puck is sent ahead, and Dylan Hoffman will give chase. He's going to come after it. He'll just send it in, and this is number 86, Adam Blundell. He'll send it across to Josh Hopkins. He's big, he's lanky, and he's quite the defenseman for Soggin Shorts. That goes all the way down the ice, and that'll be icing. Puck will uh, face off, will come all the way back into the Soggin Shores zone. 1 0, Minto is the score. Zach Graham scoring for Minto. And with assists from Adam Qualick and Wade Pfeffer. Puck is won by the Winterhawks. It's in behind the net. It'll be sent around to Elder, but it's out of his reach. Mike Pleon does a nice job to keep it in. He tried to find Qualick down in behind the net, but it didn't get to him. Pleon does a nice job to keep it in. Qualick has it. He's looking for a man to pass it to. He'll hang on to it, though. Nice job, though, against the defense of Matt Shields. In deep. This is Pfeffer. Pfeffer gets boarded in. Pleon shoots. That's intercepted. Here's Zach Graham. Graham continues to hold on to it. He'll leave it for Kowalik. Kowalik has it in open space. Shot scores! Wow, what a pass from Adam Kowalik to Zach Graham. And he scores his second of the game. And the 81s lead it 2-0. Wow, what a play. So with 8.49 to go in period one, the 81s have scored twice. They lead it two to nothing on the strength of two goals from Zach Graham. Uh, Kowalik gets the lone assist on the play and that puts the 81s ahead two to nothing. That comes in across the line offside and we'll get a face off just outside the Minto zone. 8.32 to play here in period one. Minto leading 2-0. Wow, what a start for the 81s. So they're going to give an assist to Pfeffer as well. So Pfeffer, so the scoring plays are identical on both. Uh, <laughs> Graham from Kowalik and Pfeffer. This line is unbelievable. Here comes Tyler Harrison in, a, in around the net. He tried to play it ahead, but it was intercepted. 
Miles McLean. Oh, he was nicely defended there by Soggy uh, by Win uh, Minto, and this is going to be Colin Hartwick with it now. He'll play it all the way around, and it'll come to Tyler Harrison. Harrison, nice job to get it ahead of Gabry. He crosses center ice and dumps it in, and he'll go. They'll go after it. In is uh, Colin Hartwick. He lays the lumber on James McCaig in behind the Winterhawks net. Number 19 is Nick Quaid. He'll put it ahead. This is James McCaig with it. In across to Mitchell. In the McLean shot. Nice save from Nelson. He got outside the blue paint and made a huge save on Miles McLean. McLean very dangerous for the Sogging Shores Winterhawks. That puck comes in across the line. Pfeffer does a nice job. He'll get it to the line and out. Dial will play it back to Tatey. Tatey will play it ahead. This is Mike Rocca, number 93. His pass evaded Tatey and went right in on Pinchev. Rocca, 93, has it now. He'll send it across to Tatey. 7.20 to play here in period one. And the 81s lead it. Two to nothing, nice shot from Kowalik. Nice glove save from Pinchev. And he makes the save and hangs on. The 81s are coming out guns a-blazing here after the long and uncomfortable drive into Port Elgin this, this evening. But uh, they look very fresh and they look very hungry to get another W. It would be their third in a row. Kowalik has it for Minto. He sends it back to Jake Pleon shot. That's blocked in front by Sogging Shores and they'll turn it away. Trenhawk has that taken away from Witzel. He does a nice job to evade some bodies and he'll send it away. But it's going to be intercepted by Sogging Shores. They have it in their own end. Greg Tatey plays it across. This is Josh Dial. He brings it, oh, he sends it back to Tatey. Tatey will put it off the boards, but it's right to Minto, and they come in across the line. Ada's Graham again, puts it in front. Oh, and now it's gonna be a penalty. As Graham was looking for Pfeffer on the uh, pass across, but he was hauled down, and that'll be a penalty to number 10, Josh Dial of Sogging Shores. So with 6.35 to go, the 81s with a 2-0 lead will go to the power play. Faceoff coming up here to the left of Pinchev. It's one back by the 81s. Jake Pleon across to Mike. The penalty to Dial is for hooking. You could have called it tripping too, I suppose. But hooking is the call. 81s control it. Mike Pleon, his, or his shot was deflected by James McKaig, and it comes out into the neutral zone. Nice, uh, for, nice uh, penalty killing from James McKaig and Andy Mitchell. Puck is sent back to Mike Pleon, the captain. He'll play it across. This is Jake, uh, this is, uh, Jake Pleon. It's sent ahead, Tyler Harrison across to Austin Gabry. Gabry's got it. He'll control on this power play. 120 to go in the penalty to Dial. Sent back to Pleon at the line. He'll put it ahead. Gabry puts it to Harrison at the side of the net. Back to Gabri, it's at the side of the net still, and they'll whistle it down. Referee not with a great angle on it, that puck was still loose. But it's whistled down, and the faceoff's gonna come to the right-hand side, or left-hand side of Pinchev, the Winterhawks goaltender. 5.44 to go here in period number one. 81's leading two to nothing on two goals from Zach Graham. That line has looked dangerous all night. Jamison Buck kept it in at the line. He'll get it back at the point again. He'll send it in deep, but it's intercepted there. And Josh Hopkins will skate it away. He's got speed. He gets around Buck. Shot, nice save, Nelson. Rebound, he's got that too. And this is Caleb Witzel. Nice offensive rush from Josh Hopkins. Boy, he's got a lot of speed for a big guy. And across the line, this is Graham. Graham tried to put it to the net, but it was deflected away. It's on to the Winterhawks bench, and it'll be whistled down. 38 seconds to go in the penalty to Dial, and 38 seconds to go in the Minto power play. 5.14 to play here in period number one. Puck is won by Minto. Back to Caleb Witzel. Kill the music. That's sent in on Pinchef. Nice save. Graham in behind his net. Puts it to Pfeffer. He puts it to Kowalik, who's got it now. Kowalik. He's looking, he's still got it, shot! Oh, blocker save from Pinchev, and it's into the netting behind him and out of play. Dangerous shot, Kowalik was looking for the high blocker, and uh, Pinchev stuck it out there and deflected into the netting and out of play. Graham on the draw now. He'll win that draw, 
Kowalik had it go past them though, and Winterhawks are going to skate it and dump it out. Oh, it's going to come all the way in on Ben Nelson. He's going to leave it there. Nice job by Jamison Buck there. He controls it and slows it down. The eight seconds to go in the penalty. Kowalik has it in the neutral zone. He'll cross center ice. He'll, oh, wicked knee by McKaig, but Kowalik appears to be okay. Penalty is over. Dial steps back on. We're all even. 4.28 to go here in period number one. 81's continuing to lead, two to nothing. Puck comes to the line, it's kept in. Fair for shot, that goes just wide. Graham has it now, back to the line. Comes in behind the net where Kowalik has it there. Lundell tried to check him to no avail. Oh, McKeg with a big check. They score! And that's Mike Pleon who scores for Minto. It's his first point of the season. And it puts the, head, puts the 81s ahead. Three to nothing here in the first period. So with 4.10 to go here in period one, the 81s lead it now three to nothing. What a shot from Mike Pleon. It didn't look like it hit anybody on the way in. It just evaded Pinchef and went in behind him on the blocker side. So Graham and Pfeffer draw assists. For Graham, that's his third point. For Pfeffer, that's his third point and third assist of the hockey game. On Mike Pleon's first points of the season. Unbelievable. Puck is in deep. Hartwick's got it in behind the net now. He'll try and bring it ahead and he'll get bodied in there in behind the net by Hopkin. Puck is whistled down. We're gonna get a face off here in the, 80, or in the Winterhawk zone. 3.35 to play here in period one. 81's lead at three to nothing. Gadbury out there now with Harrison and Colin Hartwick. Underwood for Sogging Shores won the drawback and the 80, uh, Winterhawks will control it and skate it away. Curtis Johnson tipped it in and Underwood will give chase against Nelson. Nelson, nice job to get it away and it'll come all the way into the neutral zone where Greg Tatey has it. Tatey plays it over to Johnston. He'll just skate it in across the line. He got bodied in there by Pleon. And here comes Drew Shotson across the line. He's all by himself. He tried to send it in and Pinchef will leave it there and he'll hang on to it as Shots come up and tried to look for it. He's forced to hang on and stop the play. We have 3.04 to go here in period number one. 81's continuing to lead, three nothing. Aiken out there with Shantz and Denver Hill. Tatey has the puck, sends it across. Dial sends it ahead, and Kazarian puts it over to Elder. Elder in across the line, he'll dump it around the boards. Matt Shields went in after it, but he couldn't come up with the puck as Chris Hardy did. Puck is intercepted by Kazarian. Shot, they nice save Nelson, and he'll hang on, he'll find the rebound. Some pushing and shoving in front of the net of Nelson, he gets out of the way of that. And uh, Nelson, nice job to stop that chance. Very dangerous, Brian Kazarian coming in. He knows how to score. And uh, Ben Nelson came out and challenged him nicely and made the save and, hang, and hangs on for the faceoff. We have 2.45 to play here in period one. 81 still continuing to lead three nothing as the faceoff is here. And uh, we're gonna get penalties. Uh, coincidental minors to Matt Shields and Chris Hardy, I believe. Face off coming up here though, we're gonna play five on five. Offsetting penalties. And the puck is won back by Minto. Gadbury has it now for Minto, he'll send it across Adam Kowalik. Excuse me, that was Graham. In across the line, Witzel onside, oh, they call it offside. So they call it slashing. You could call it roughing, or, uh, roughing after the whistle. Either way, Chris Hardy and Matt Shields both go off for penalties uh, and uh, they'll sit as we continue to play five on five, all even strength here. 2.30 to go in period number one, 81's leading three, nothing. Miles McLean across center ice, he'll dump it in. Away is Andy Mitchell, he's there first, nice job. 
He tried to backhand it in front, but it went to nobody, and it comes all the way into the Soggy Shore zone. Blundell played it ahead. This is Andy Fraz in across the line. His shot on Nelson, nice save. Oh, that was the dangerous rebound. Trevor Smith, he comes up with it first, tried to put it in on Nelson, but he couldn't. Back to Blundell. Blundell shot, that's deflected wide. Witzel has it now for, Soggy, uh, for Minto. He'll bring it ahead, he'll put it across. This is Wade Pfeffer. Pfeffer in across the line, nice move. Oh, he puts it to the backhand, nice save, Pete Chef. Rebound was controlled, and now in front is Kowalik, and he was bodied by a couple of Winter Hawks players, but looks like Cooler Heads will prevail on that one. 140 to go here in period one. In across the line, Graham has it now. He's bodied by Blundell. Puck is skated in behind the Winter Hawks net. It'll be brought out, and it's across the line, and in comes number 18, Michael Johnstone. His pass evaded his man. He was looking for a teammate on that, but it didn't connect, and back come the 81s. Kowalik's in across the line. There's a shot from Arwick. Nice save from Pinchev on the pad save. Arwick has it again at the line, but he's forced to come back with it. Harrison played it back. This is number 22, Shane Ross. Ross ahead. Hartwick's bodied there. It's sent in across the Winter Ox line. We're into the final minute of period one. Gabri in on the line. Harrison comes up with the puck first. Tried to send it in front, but it was blocked away by the Soggy Shores. It'll come ahead. This is Blake Underwood. Underwood in across the line. Hawk sends it to the front. Nice, say, nice defensive play by Mike Pleon to get it out. It'll be sent all the way back in. That was dangerous on Nelson. He had to be careful of that. Pleon sends it into the neutral zone. That goes off of Quaid's glove. It's uh, going to be touched, though, by the, 80, uh, by the Winter Hawks, and they're going to call a glove pass. Quaid gloved it down, and Curtis Johnson touched it before the 81s did. And the faceoff's going to come back at the Winter Hawks line. 33.3 seconds to go here in period number one. Very, uh, very good period for the 81s here in the first. Zach Graham sends it back. Jamison Buck sends it all the way in. In around the net, it'll be controlled by Sogging Shores. They'll bring it ahead, and this is Blake Underwood. Over to Trent Hawk. One last rush. Over to Underwood. Stop by Nelson. Nice save. He'll hang on. Very uh, good rush by the Winter Hawks as they come in across the line with numbers. And uh, Underwood puts a shot in on Nelson, and he makes the save, and he hangs on. 16.1 seconds to go in an offensive zone faceoff for the Winter Hawks. Mitchell. On the draw for Sogging Shores. That puck is in the skates still. 13 seconds to go. There's a danger shot. It's over the glove hand of Nelson. 81's trying to conserve it here as the final five seconds tick off the clock. In behind Nelson, it'll come all the way around the other side, and that'll do it for period number one. That will do it for period number one. Very good first period for the Mental 81's. They lead it 3 0, heading in to period number two. Right here in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, Andrew Rogers will be back for the puck drop in period number two. Mitchell 81s in the Soggy Shores Winterhawks. 81s lead at 3 0. We'll be back after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Period number two here in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Andrew Rogers with you for play-by-play. -play. Mito 81's leading three to nothing on the strength of two goals from Zach Graham. And Mike Pleon's first of the season and first points of the year. Scoring plays, Zach Graham from Kowalik and Pfeffer. Graham from Kowalik and Pfeffer for his second. And then Pleon from Graham and Pfeffer for the third Mito 81's goal. Puck is played ahead. 
81s in the red uniforms. Winterhawks in the home whites. Kowalik plays it ahead to Pfeffer. He got tied up there with Zach Graham. Couldn't come in across the line. Underwood has it now in behind his own net. Lundell played it ahead. Winterhawks trying to get it organized in their own end, and this is going to be Trevor Smith. Smith plays it ahead. And all the way across, this is Trent Hawk now. Hawk over, across, oh. Puck is sent back to the middle, and here's a chance. Oh, Nelson, big save. He's still got it, oh. And it's gonna come the A1s. Oh, wow, Nelson looked real sharp on that play. Johnston shot, nice save from Nelson. He sticks it away. Winterhawks coming out strong early on here in the second period, getting some quality chances. But uh, the 81s, Ben Nelson, equal to the task. So the out-of-town scorer, they just announced it here in the building. Uh, Clinton leading Ripley 1-0, and uh, Shallow Lake, Shallow Lake is up four, or sorry, Durham is up four nothing on Shallow Lake. Oh, what a save from Nelson! Lachlan Elder tried to pick the high glove side on Nelson, but he made a solid save and he'll hang on. Ben Nelson's look really strong in this game. Shots after the first period were 13 and nine in favor of the 81s. Puck is uh, controlled by the Winterhawks here in the 81 zone. This is Matt Shield. Shield shot, pad save from Nelson. Hartwick now has it. He'll send it ahead and it'll be come out. And the Winterhawks will just get it and send it back in deep. They look to put on the pressure here as they trail open the second period, trailing three nothing. Austin Gabry skates it out of his own end and across the line. It's deflected there by Brian Kazarian, but now Mike Pleon has it again. His shot, that goes wide. Puck is sent across. It's just out of the reach of Elder, but he's gonna get it back now here. He'll send it over to Shields. Shields in across the line. That puck is deflected away by Hartwick. Oh, and he goes down on the Aaron stick. Puck is sent ahead to Shields. It's in across the line. Pleon gets it up to Gabry. Gabry at his own blue line had it taken away. And now it'll be Winterhawks in their own end. Puck is sent ahead. Quaid battle in there at the blue line. It's gonna come onto the sideboards. Now Tyler Harrison has it, he'll dump it in and the 81s will get a complete change as the play was just outside of their bench. Shields has it now, sends it across. Here comes Nick Quaid, in across the line. He'll put it ahead to Miles McLean. It's in his skates, but he still has it now. McLean sends it in deep. Quaid in on the fourth check, he has it. It's in front dangerously. Where is the buck? Oh, it's off the side of the net. Oh, Nelson stopped it. Wow, Ben Nelson. He got a pad up and made the save, wow! How did Ben Nelson in the midst of all that come up with a pad save, wow! He denies every opportunity that the Winterhawks were putting on them on the goal line. And we play on here, face off, off to the left hand side of Nelson, it's won by the Winterhawks. Tatey sends it in! Nice save Nelson, it's off to the corner now. To the line and out. Denver Hill will give chase, he's got speed. He's in against Josh Dial. And across the line, it'll come across. It's gonna get chippy here in the second period, I feel. And across the line, it's sent in. Winterhawks will come back for it. 16.54 to play here in period two. Minnow 81's leading three, one, three nothing. Greg Tatey plays it ahead. McLean on the boards, he'll put it ahead. This is Andy Fraz, Fraz. Bodied off of there and he'll put it ahead and this will come all the way into the neutral zone. Tatey has it. He tried to play it across. Denver Hill did a nice job to intercept. Into Drew shot. Shot, that was weak on to Pinchef and he makes the save. Puck is played ahead. Denver Hill had it again. He was there with Brendan Aiken. In behind the net now. Shots is filled in. Now, Zach Graham's out there with it. He's got speed. Nice move to the middle, they score! Wow, Zach Graham! He did a wonderful job down low to deke out of harm's way. He put it in front and it's in behind the net of Pinchef, or in behind Pinchef for the goal. And that gives the 81s a four nothing lead here in the second period. Minto does a nice job. They're not letting up on the gas pedal. 
as they get in another one behind Pinchef and it's 4 0. 16 11 to play here in period two. 81's lead it now 4 0. Winterhawks have it in the 81 zone in behind the net. It comes out in front now. This is Josh uh, James McKeg. He sends it over to Blundell. Shot! That's deflected wide of Nelson. So the goal, the, the scoring play is 12, Jake, uh, Jake Pleon from Zach Graham and uh, Brendan Aiken. For Graham, that's his fourth point of the evening. He's looking for more, oh, what a chance. He was looking for Kowalik on the backhand, but it hit his stick and went wide. Wow, the 81s have a lot of confidence here in the second period. Pfeffer goes in after it. It's on the boards, Pleon played it in. And now it's gonna come over to Graham on the side boards. He's bodied in by Blundell, but he'll play it in deep to Kowalik. Kowalik back to Graham. Graham has it on the sideboards now. He'll do his best to get away from Rocca. Nice job. McKaig comes up with a puck. He'll play it ahead. Oh, nice body check from Kowalik. 81s have it. It's sent ahead. This is going to come to Kowalik, but he couldn't uh, corral it in. And it's ahead, and it's into the neutral zone. Underwood couldn't get a hold of it, and now Minto coming in across the line again. Gabri shot. Nice save. Oh, and Gabri took a big hit on the sideboards. Pop, uh, Trevor Smith filling in Austin Gabri after he got the shot off on Pinchef and he made the save. Like I said, folks, it's going to get chippy the rest of the way. If you don't like hard-nosed hockey, you better leave right now. 81's leading the 10-1 and Soggy and Shores Winterhawks 4-0 here in the second period. We're just, uh, just over six minutes in. Puck is won by the Winterhawks, sit around the net. They'll skate it ahead now. In across the line, it's sent in deep and Shane Ross comes back. He's bodied in by Trent Hawk. So at the, or at, on the sideboards now, Minto is forced to come back and this is Mike Pleon. Pleon will send it ahead, Hardwick has it. He goes after it against Hopkins. Oh, big hit! That was a big hit to Hopkins, or to Hardwick's face. And uh, they're gonna send Hopkins off for that. That was not a clean body check, I'm sorry. Hopkins gonna get a penalty as Hartwick went down and he was sliding along the ice to try and come up with the puck, but Josh Hopkins put the body on him instead, ended up getting him in the head, and uh, I'll be interested to see what they call here. Hartwick appears to be okay, He's skating off on his own power, but uh, yeah, not really sure what's going to happen here. So, Hopkins sits. He's in the box for two minutes. And uh, with at 14-16 to play, the mid to 81s with a 4-0 lead are going to go to the power play. We'll see what the actual penalty call is because I, I didn't see what the gesture was at the bench there, but uh, the puck is won by Minto, but it's sent all the way out by the Winterhawks and James McKay will give chase. Caleb Witzel does a nice job with speed and he'll come across the neutral zone into the Winterhawks zone. He'll play it in around the net. Oh, Dial filled him in as he, he uh, lost an edge. Witzel in behind the Minto Hawks, Winterhawks bench. So penalty is uh, contact to the head from Hopkin. There's two men in the penalty box now for the Winterhawks, so I'm not sure if there's a misconduct there or not. We'll have to wait. Pfeffer has it on the sideboards. He'll play it across to Adam Qualic. To the middle! He was looking for Graham and it was just out of his reach. Puck comes back to the line. It's sent in. This is uh, Pfeffer across. Pleon to Kowalik down low. Into 81's controlling on this power play. Nice hit as Kowalik is dumped into the, into the boards by uh, Dial, and uh, Dial sends it all the way down, and Nelson will be playing it outside of his own, outside of his net. 81's controlling, 50 seconds left on the penalty to Hopkin. Gabri has it along the sideboards. He'll play it back to Jake Pleon, will send it in deep. It'll come to Tyler Harrison. Harrison, over to Aiken. Back to the line, Jake Pleon to Gabri. Gabri still has it back to Pleon. 
Leon across. Oh, they tried to send it back to him and it's intercepted and here comes the Winterhawks. Michael Johnstone, nice move, always. Oh, nice hit from Jake Pleon. Put it in weakly on Nelson and he deflected that away with ease. Here comes Mike Pleon ahead. Austin Gabrian, 18 seconds left. There's a shot, oh, that was a nice save from Pichev on the deflection. Buck is sent in deep. 10 seconds left in the power play. Across, Mike Pleon has it now. He'll look to the middle, but he gets it down low and here's the chance, oh! That just missed Tyler Harrison. It's gonna go all the way down the ice. We're all even now. Hopkins remains in the box, so there had to have been a misconduct penalty. Probably a 10. We're all even now. 12 minutes to play here in period two. Minnow 81's leading four nothing. Puck is sent ahead by Chris Hardy and it's to nobody and Josh Dial has it in his own end. He'll play it across. Tatey onto the boards for Underwood. Underwood has it now. He'll put it ahead to Trent Hawk. Hawk in across the line. Leaves for Underwood. Underwood puts it over to Tatey. Tatey at the point. Shot off the end boards. It's going to come onto the back of the net. And they got it. Winterhawks have it. Oh, it's out front. And that was a dangerous play. But it went across the net and out of harm's way. Underwood had a glorious chance on the side of the net, but couldn't convert it. Trent Hawk takes it off of Wade Pfeffer. will play it back. 11.25 to go here in period two. 81's leading, four nothing. In across the line, Hawk tips it in and Chris Hardy will come back. Hardy plays it around, but Brian Kazarian will intercept. Kazarian into the middle, oh! He almost found Elder and it was in on Nelson. Elder, oh, got it across, here's a dangerous chance! Oh, Nelson with a save! Rebound, oh, it's in front still. Kowalik comes up with it and he'll skate it away. Kowalik circles back. He lost an edge and Kazarian takes it from him. He'll play it in the middle. No harm though, Witzel had it. He'll play it ahead, it'll come to the line and McKay will keep it in. Sends it in, but it's wide to Nelson. Pfeffer plays it ahead and it's in. Tatey stops it, but Graham has it. Oh, it's in! And it's on the delayed offside. Graham was forced to leave it. Now here comes Kazarian. Leaves it for Trevor Smith, shot scores! Trevor Smith scores for the Winterhawks. And they are on the board. And it's 4-1 for the 81s. What a shot from Captain Trevor Smith. And he puts the Winterhawks on the board. They have their first of the night. Zach Graham come in across the line. Kowalik was late going to the bench and he had to leave it. And the turnover comes the other way and ends up in the back of the net. So at 10.30 to play, Winterhawks on the board. And they lead it. So the lone assist goes to Brian Kazarian on the goal from Trevor Smith, the captain of the Winterhawks. Puck is sent ahead, Andy Fraz puts it over to Miles McLean. McLean comes in across the line, in, a, in around the net. McLean still has it now, it's puck is stripped away and it's sent ahead. This is Dylan Hoffman, he'll send it in. Denver Hill giving chase. He tried to send it in, but it was off the stick of Trevor Smith. Winterhawks coming up with it. He'll send it into the neutral zone where Mike Pleon stops it there at his blue line. Sent ahead. It's going to go into the Winterhawks zone and it's going to go for icing. I'm going to call an icing. And uh, we're going to get a face off back in the Winterhawks, or excuse me, 81 zone with 9.51 to go here in period two. 81's leading four to one. Face off to the right-hand side of Nelson. It's won by the Winterhawks. McKaig tried to send it in on net, but it was blocked. That puck goes into the netting and it's out of play. Nice to see Colin Hartwick back out there as uh, it's his first shift back on the ice after taking that body check from Josh Hopkin, who still sits in the Winterhawks penalty box. 9.45 to play here, Minnow 81's leading 4-1. Hardy had to go past him and Denver, or Austin Gabry was forced to come up with it. Now, it's into the corner where Michael Johnstone plays it to the middle. Rocca looking for a man, but he couldn't. Nick Quaid shoots, nice save from Nelson, and he'll hang on. He snared that with a glove and hangs on for the faceoff. What a shot from Nick Quaid. He loaded up on that opportunity, but Nelson makes the glove save and hangs on. 
9.30 to play here in period two. 4-1, 81's leading. Underwood in on the draw for Winterhawks against Zach Graham, who has four points in the evening. He has points on all four middle 81's goals. That puck goes along the glass and it'll hit somebody at the Winterhawks bench and it'll be whistled down. Yeah, this line for Minto, Zach Graham, Adam Qualick, and Wade Pfeffer have been absolutely dominant here tonight in Port Elgin. Puck is won by the Winterhawks, or excuse me, Minto. They control in their own end. Jake Pleon puts it over to Caleb Witzel. Witzel in across over the blue line. It'll send it in, and uh, Wade Pfeffer will give chase. He'll come up with it. Oh, he looked for Graham! And it almost got over to him in front dangerously. Wow, what a chance that might have been. Graham looking for the hat trick. He has two already tonight. Cross, Underwood, had it go back. It's intercepted, though, by Curtis Johnson. He's over to Blake Underwood. Underwood. Back to the line, it's gonna come all the way to the line. Nice play, over to, over to John, uh, Shields, shot! Nice pad save from Nelson. Matt Shields with a nice chance in the slot, but Nelson stuck out the pad on him. And across the line, Kowalik, chance! Oh, he puts it back, Fever scores! The 81's answer and put another on the board. It's five to one, Minto. What a play from Adam Kowalik. As if I haven't said that enough this season. So Pfeffer is going to get the goal, give Kowalik the primary assist, and with 8.39 to go here in period two, the 81s lead it 5-1. to one. Face off one by the 81s, back to Shane Ross, he'll play it in, and uh, the 81s will give chase. It's going to be whistled down, though, instead it was played on a high stick, and uh, face off will come back. So for Wade Pfeffer, that's point number four. For Adam Kowalik, that's point number three. Face off in the Winterhawk zone. Adam Blundell plays it across. Here's a two on one for the Winterhawks. Graham gets the second assist and that's point number five for Graham. Graham is having himself a night here in Port Elgin. Drew shots, hit across the line. Oh, that just went wide of the blocker side of Pinchip, wow. He got it all alone after Blundell blew a tire. Back to the line shot, blockers, uh, left of the blocker side. Ross in deep now. He has the puck in the, in the corner. He'll play it in behind the net. This is number 11, Denver Hill. Hill plays it back for Brendan Aiken, but it didn't get to him. It's Greg Tatey intercepted. Back to the line, there's a shot. That went off of Shantz. In behind the net, Aiken. Aiken controls it there. It's pinned along the end boards. Kazarian has it, he'll send it around. 7.36 to play here in period two. Minnow 81's leading five to one. Tatey, oh, he tried to play it back and then luckily it didn't go to Gadbury, he was waiting there for it. Back to Buck, at the line, he can't keep it in and Elder will skate it away. Elder, in across the line, he's blocked there by Jamison Buck. Matt Shields has it in behind the net. Shields, he'll look in front. Oh, Elder couldn't get it as he hopped over his stick. Miles McLean. Has it now. Sent to the line. Oh, and it comes over the stick of Dial, and it's out. Seven minutes to go here in period two. 81's leading five, uh, five to one. Andy Fraz plays it all the way around. Back behind the net to Miles McLean. McLean has it there. He sends it back behind the net. He was looking for Mitchell, but it didn't connect with him. And it's going to come all the way out, and Colin Hartwick will give chase. Dial plays it across. Harrison was looking for it, but couldn't come up with the pass. Buck plays it in the middle, and Hardwick's going to come up with it. Hardwick, oh, takes a knee on knee from Dial. But it's going to come back out, and Mitchell has it at the Winterhawks, uh, Mitchell 81's blue line. Mitchell again, shot, that's blocked. Rebound, oh, a chance, and it's wide to Nelson. McLean has it there, Gadbury along the boards. It's getting chippy. I told you it was chippy from the get-go, and it's going to only continue to get worse here. Winterhawks have it in their own end. Puck is intercepted. Harrison shot. Oh, that took a deflection. It's in behind him. Pinchef had it in behind him, and he didn't even know it. And now we're going to get a face-off or a whistle here. And uh, 
I'm not really sure why there's a whistle. What's happening here? They're going to whistle a penalty, and it's going to go to Tyler Harrison. So there was a penalty call, and the official didn't even put his hand up. I've never seen that before. And uh, the 81s have lost a player here. Uh, Tyler Harrison gets the penalty. It's the 81's first penalty of the game. So with 5.58 to play, maybe a high stick was signaled, but either way, 81's take a penalty in the Winterhawks to the power play here. Puck is controlled in the 81 zone by the Winterhawks. Oh, they call on sportsmanlike conduct, okay. Puck is sent on Nelson, it's high over the blocker side. Back to the line now, Winterhawks controlling on this power play. Dial at the point, pad save from Nelson. Nice pad save through traffic. In behind the net now, Kazarian has it. Kazarian will control it against Jake Pleon, who does a nice job. Zach Graham goes after it on the sideboards. He can't come up with the puck. It's still in deep, the Winterhawks control it on this power play. Over across, Pfeffer does a nice job to get it out. Zach Graham will give chase back in the Winterhawks zone. This is Blake Underwood. He just plays it away from Graham, but nobody there. Chris Hardy comes up on it and just plays it all the way around to kill more time. 57 seconds left in the Winterhawks power play. They trail five to one here in the second period. 5.46 to play in period number two. Over to Andy Mitchell. Mitchell in across the line. To the net! Oh, he couldn't get the shot across. Puck is still controlled. This is Andy Fraz back to the point. To uh, Nick Quaid put it in, but it was deflected wide by Mitchell. Puck comes to the line. Quaid does a nice job to keep it in. McLean had it taken away from him by Brendan Aiken, and he'll send it all the way down the ice. Nice defensive play from Aiken, and he strips it off of uh, McLean and sends them all the way back. 17 seconds left in the power play to the penalty to uh, Tyler Harrison of Minto. And across the line, this is Fraz. Shot, or McLean, shot. Nice save from Nelson, he'll hang on. Hey, Matt's still looking for that 50-50 ticket. 498 to play here in period two. Eight, two, eight seconds left That's in the penalty to Harrison. And a faceoff coming up here to the left of Ben Nelson, who's been very good in this game tonight. The puck is won back by Minto, and they'll send it all the way down, and that'll do it for the Winterhawks penalty, or power play, Winterhawks power play. In behind the net, Josh Hopkins has it. Or sorry, Trevor Smith. Trevor Smith had it, his pass went astray, and Underwood will send it over to Smith again. He'll come in across the red line and dump it in. Right on Nelson, he stops it with the glove and he'll hang on. Harrison and Trevor Smith getting into an exchange. And uh, officials will separate those two. And uh, with 3.41 to go, Nelson hangs on for the faceoff and there's gonna be an offensive zone faceoff for the Winterhawks. It's gonna come to the right-hand side of Nelson. McLean on the draw, wins it back. It's controlled by the middle 81s, and they'll bring it ahead. This is Adam Kowalik, and across the line with Pfeffer. Oh, he almost tipped it uh, past Pinchef, but he couldn't connect fully. Kowalik in there again. This is Graham to Pfeffer. Oh, he was stopped by Pinchef. Nice save. Pfeffer looking for another one for Minto, but he was denied by the outstretched pad of Pinchef, and it remains 5-1 Minto. 3.23 to go here in period two. 81's lead it. Pfeffer was looking for his second of the game. That line, absolutely unbelievable tonight. Zach Graham on the draw for Minto. He loses the draw and it's controlled by the Winterhawks in behind the net. 
Sent to the line where Ross keeps it in. Pfeffer puts it towards the net. Pinchef's forced to come up with it. He finds it, gloves it, and holds on for a faceoff. Zach Graham on the draw for Minto. Kazarian controls it though for the Winterhawks and it's back to Adam Blundell in behind his own net. Three minutes to go here in period two. 81's leading it five to one. Matt Shields brings it out. He's deflected or defended there by Pfeffer. It is gonna come to him, but he doesn't see it in time. Blundell, shot! Oh, that was wide of the blocker side of Nelson. Nice chance though from the Winterhawks. Tatey keeps it in at the line. He'll play it in deep. And uh, Andy Faraz goes after it. 17, Sogging Shores. Well, that was Lachlan Elder, 37. Puck is in behind the net. Cleon will just send it around to Witzel. Witzel will look now, and he'll find Pfeffer. He'll tip it up to Graham. Graham in across the line. Does a nice job. Carries it in deep, in behind the net. He had it stripped away, though, by Blundell. It's going to come to the line. 2.22 to play here in period two. Over across to Jake Pleon. Pleon, shot! Oh, that went off the post! Witzel now. It was in his skates and he couldn't come up with the puck cleanly. Now it's ahead and Elder has it. Elder will skate it across the red line and go off for a change. Two minutes to go. That's all the way down the ice and it's gonna be icing. Two minutes exactly to go. Here in period two, 81's leading five to one. Andrew Rogers on the play-by-play -play from Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Thank you very much for watching and tuning in. I do appreciate all the viewership and the feedback. It's much appreciated. This league is uh, pretty awesome and I do enjoy covering it. That puck is sent all the way in. It's off a of body in behind Nelson. James McKaig plays it ahead. Cardi had it come to him in front. Hopkins does a nice job to keep it in. He'll send it away. In behind the net, McKaig on the backhand stop by Nelson. That's gonna come all the way out and into the Winterhawks zone. It doesn't have enough for icing. 138 to go here in period two. Hopkin plays it ahead. And Hawk does a nice job to tip it in. Nelson has it. They're calling it on the delayed offside. So the 81s will just take their time with it here. Sent ahead and that's gonna be icing. Oh, that was a bad break as the pass from Buck was intended for Dylan Hoffman, but he couldn't get a stick on it. And now, the Winterhawks are gonna have an offensive zone faceoff here. 122 to play here in period two. 81's leading five to one. Underwood out there with Johnston and Trent Hawk. They have Greg Tatey and Josh Dial on the defense. Mike Pleon has it come to him from behind the net. Drew Schantz tried to tip it past Tatey, but he kept it in. Tatey has it again at the line. He'll put it towards the middle, that's deflected. There's lots of bodies there. Underwood in behind the net now. He has the puck still. Looking to the middle, he still controls. Back towards his own, uh, the 81's blue line. He'll send it in deep. 81's gonna come up with it though and they'll send it out and it's gonna go all the way down the ice. We're into the final minute of period two. 56 seconds exactly to go. Face off coming up to the left hand side of Nelson. Face off uh, controlled by the winner or the 81s. They'll send it ahead, and this is also going to go, but they're going to call that one no icing as Tatey's forced to come back. 47 seconds to go here in period two. 81s leading 5 1. Tatey plays it ahead. This is Andy Mitchell. He's got speed. He's across the red line, into the 81 zone. Shot, nice pad save, Nelson. Rebound, controlled by the 81s. Nice job. Shots played it to the line, Smith kept it in. Nelson gloved it down and I'll hang on. Nice job by Trevor Smith to keep it in at the line. He sent it in and Nelson stuck out the glove and snared it, holding on for a face off. We got 30 seconds to play here in period two. Underwood now, in on the draw. Against Graham, they both get kicked out. And uh, Hawk will take this draw against Adam Kowalik. 
Hawk wins the draw back. Smith, oh, that was almost deflected by Hawk in on Nelson. Out now. Pfeffer tried to get it out, but it's kept in by the uh, Winterhawks. We have 19 seconds to go here in period two. In behind the net. And we're gonna, Hawk and, and uh, Jake Pleon, they're all tied up in front of the 81's net. I don't know if it's smart for Jake Pleon to get in a fight with his uh, wrist not being 100%, but I think it's just gonna be talk at this point. It looks like uh, cooler heads will prevail. We'll head into the second period. 81's leading five to one over the Sogging Shores Winterhawks here from Pernogan, Ontario, Canada. We'll be back for the start of the third period. After this, stick around. Andrew Rogers back for the start of the third period. Minto 81's leading five to one here in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada. Thank you for watching everyone and uh, strap in. It should be a fun third period. It is a uh, high scoring affair with Minto leading five to one. You can only imagine that Winterhawks are gonna come out hard hitting in this third period to try and get back into this hockey game. Winterhawks have it in their own end. It's controlled there by Trevor Smith. He sent it ahead to Miles McLean. McLean steps over his line, tried to get it in deep, but it was tipped away, and that's going to go out of play. We're going to get a face-off here. So the out-of-town scores that just announced it in the building here. Clinton. Clinton leads Ripley two to one, and Durham leads uh, Shaw Lake six to nothing. Both of them after two periods. Puck is uh, sent ahead, and the Winterhawks will send it into the 81 zone. Nelson has it in behind his own net. He'll play it away. Coming to get it though is Curtis Johnson. He couldn't uh, he couldn't control it cleanly, and now it's going to come to Drew Schantz. He just uh, steps over center ice and he'll send it in on Pinchev, and uh, he'll hold on for the faceoff. Shots on goal, second period. Sargon Shores 15, Minto six. Goals were two to one for Minto. Jake Pleon from Zach Graham and Brandon Aiken. And then Trevor Smith from Brian Kazarian got the Winterhawks on the board, put this game at four to one. And then Wade Pfeffer from Adam Kowalik and Zach Graham made it a five one game. And that's where we stand as we play here in the third period. Puck comes around, it gets out of the reach of Dil Dylan Hoffman, he comes up with it, he'll try to play along the boards and up. Elder intercept, he got it up to Kazarian. Kazarian, over to Blundell. Blundell put it in the middle, Kazarian, oh, cross, they score! Oh, that is a huge goal. Here to open period number three as the 81s break down at the blue line. It ends up being a Odd man rush down low and uh, wide open Winterhawk on the side of the net puts it in the back of the net and we're at 5-2. So at 18.04, with 18 minutes and four seconds to play, here in period three, the Winterhawks are on the board again. It's 5-2. Mitchell played it ahead and it hit Witzel and he's got it. Witzel puts it ahead to Pfeffer and he sends it in. 
Matt Shields on the goal for the Winterhawks. Kazarian with the assist. It's his second point of the night. So Kazarian and Adam Blundell get assists on Matt Shields' goal that makes it 5-2 here in the third period. Puck comes to the middle. Oh, that was dangerous. Here's Fraz with a nice block by Graham. Fraz again, shot blocked by Jake Pleon. Two huge blocks defensively. Hopkins shot, that's stopped by Nelson. Rebound, it's loose. Nelson has it, and he'll hang on. Nelson doing a nice job there, and he got some nice help defensively on the, on the shot blocks. Two of them, one by Graham, one by Jake Pleon. And uh, Nelson finally stops it and hangs on for the faceoff. Coming up here to the left-hand side of Nelson. Hartwick puts it on the boards to Drew Schantz. Schantz tied up there at the line, but it's kept in. Winterhawks still controlling now. In behind the net, Winterhawks have it. In front, and it's uh, almost played there by the Winterhawks, but Harrison just tip, puts it all the way out, and it's not going to go for icing. Josh Dial, number 10, Winterhawks has it. In behind his net, he'll slow it down. Just over three minutes into period number three. 81's leading, five to two. That's dangerously in on Nelson. That took a bounce to the last second and he had to be sharp on it. He'll hang on though for the face off. A lot of thanks uh, tonight from everybody here in Port Elgin for being so accommodating to Jordan McKinnon, John Davinsky, Gord Lamont, and uh, Matt Turcott and the rest of his staff. Really appreciate all the, uh, all the support and assistance here tonight. Puck is in the Minto zone, it'll come all the way around. Pfeffer tried to get it out, but couldn't on the first try. He does, finally, and it comes in a neutral zone. Adam Kowalik intercepts, he's in across the line, he's got space, in, shot! Oh, nice save from Pinchev, wow! That was a huge save at this point in the game. In his head, oh, that's gonna come across. Here's Edom. Shot, nice glove save, Nelson, wow! Oh, that's a huge save. Blake Underwood got behind everybody, went in on Nelson, tried to go high glove, but wow, Nelson stuck out the glove, made a huge save. A huge save from Pichef at the one end, and another equally as impressive save at the other by Ben Nelson. He hangs on for the faceoff. Hartwick has it in his stick and he'll play it off the boards and out. Drew Schantz has it now, leave it for Hartwick. Hartwick will send it in and go after it. Harrison had it come to him. Hartwick now with Harrison down low. They try and get after it. Buck plays it in, in low. It'll come all the way around to Drew Schantz. Schantz tried to play it to the center. Harrison has it now. He had the puck stripped away from him though. And ahead come the Winterhawks. Puck is intercepted though by Minto. And this is going to be Drew Schantz in across the line. One on one. Shot. Oh, he tried to go high on the on the blocker side, but Pinchef made a nice save. Puck is on the sideboards. Denver Hill does a nice job to keep it in. Drew Schantz and Colin Hartwick will go off now. On steps Brendan Aiken and Dylan Hoffman. Puck is still in the Winterhawk zone. 15 minutes to go here in period number three. 81's leading five to two. Elder played it ahead, he was looking for Matt Shields, couldn't connect with him, and now puck is sent all the way in, and Hardy will have lots of time back in his own end. He'll play it across, that's out of the reach of Jamison Buck, but he gets it anyway, and he'll send it ahead to Denver Hill. Trevor Smith bowled into Denver Hill, and he took a wicked body check from Smith, and down he went. Now it's gonna come to Fraz, Fraz in, shot, pad save, Nelson, nice pad save. He had to be sharp. Puck is to the line. It's sent in, it's gonna come to the middle, and Hoffman's gonna get it out just past of uh, Josh Hopkin. It's across to Trevor Smith ahead. Andy Fraz tips it. They're gonna say he didn't touch it though, and it's gonna go for icing. Ben Nelson, he's allowed a goal on a one that he didn't have any chance on, but boy, is he look sharp otherwise throughout the duration of this hockey game. 81 sending out. Graham, Kowalik, and Pfeffer. Back to Kowalik, his shot pad save from Pinchev. And Rocca has it, number 93 of Soggin Shores. He'll leave it there, and it'll be brought ahead. Josh Hopkins skated it to the line, and this is James McKaig. 
McCaig sends to the middle. That was just wide to the glove hand of Nelson. Peffert played it in the middle. Peffert played it in the middle. Now James McCaig has it again. Oh, Adam Kowalik almost got in behind everybody, but he couldn't get the pass. Into the middle now, Hopkins intercepts and Rocket gives it back to him. Leaves it for Johnstone, but he put it in weakly on Nelson. Johnstone again, oh! That was deflected high over the net and out of play. More prizes to give away, more gift certificates. Zach Graham putting his body on the line to get in the way of that shot. And he tipped it up into the netting in behind Nelson. And it'll be whistled down for a faceoff. We'll get an offensive zone faceoff for Sogging Shores here. 81's leading five to two. We have 13.49 to go here in period three. Pleon plays it over to Drew Schantz. He'll skate it across center ice. He'll send it in. Hartwick was in ahead of him and it's on to the late offside. Winterhawks have lots of time here as they bring it ahead. And that's ahead to Curtis Johnson. He'll go after it after he tipped it in deep. Mike Pleon tried to get it away from Johnson but he did a nice job there. Underwood almost got it away, and here's Quaid. It's into the middle, now an Underwood shot. Pad save from Nelson. Harrison has it in the corner. He'll play it ahead, he'll find shots across the center line, he'll just dump it in and go off for a change. Underwood has it now, he'll play it ahead to Matt Shields. Shields across the center line, he'll come in across the line. Oh, Buck did a nice job to uh, prevent that from getting to Lachlan Elder. It's ahead now. That almost came to Dylan Hoffman, but it failed to materialize. Pucks ahead, Hoffman will give chase again. Elder plays it back to Blundell, across to Greg Tatey. Tatey back to Blundell. Blundell will skate it out of his own end and ahead. He'll send it in and go after it, he's got speed. He'll get there first. Sends it to the middle dangerously, oh! Winterhawks almost coming up with that. Kazarian has it now. Over across! Shot, oh, that just missed, Elder. Had a glorious chance to the side of the net. He had nobody on him, but he sent it high over the glove side of Nelson. 81's getting a wholesale change in. 12.20 to go here in period three. Minto 81's leading, 5-2. Witzel in behind his own net. He's pressured by Andy Fraz. Comes ahead. Pfeffer uh, played it ahead, and now it's gonna come to Adam Kowalik in across the line. Kowalik, oh, that was low blocker side and wide. Kowalik taken in hard to the end boards by Blundell, but they appear to be all right. Peffer played it ahead. Kowalik across. Oh, he's looking for Graham. Graham's already got five points tonight. Andy Mitchell skates it ahead. He's bodied there by Peffer, and he'll send it ahead to Witzel. Witzel in behind his own net, tried to play it away. Got caught in the skates of Jake Pleon, though, and they battle in behind the net. Going to come to Miles McLean. He sent it out to the point. Smith shot blocked. Uh, that was blocked in front. Rebound. Oh, backhanded over the net. Glorious chance for Trent Hawk, but he backhanded it over the net. 81s have it in their own end. Kowalik plays it to Graham. Graham. He skates ahead with it now. He's got room. In across the line. Shot. Oh, nice goal save from Pichef. Wow. That was impressive. Graham looking for point number six on the night, but he's denied by Pete Chef, and uh, he'll hang on. Someone going home with $245. We thank everyone for Face off coming up here it's in the Winterhawk zone. It's one back to Shane Ross. He'll send it in deep. Ross out there with Mike Pleon. And this line of Drew Shantz, Colin Hartwick, and Tyler Harrison. Josh Dial has it for the Winterhawks. He'll send it ahead. That's nicely intercepted, though, by Mike Pleon, and he'll just send it all the way back in. 10.55 to go here in period three. 81's leading, five to two. 81's looking for their fourth win of the season. Oh, and Nick Quaid just punched Colin Hartwick down. No penalty. Hartwick out there now, as well as Quaid. Puck will come into the middle. Harrison trying to come up with the puck. However, he couldn't. It comes to the line and it's gonna go out. Drew Schantz, he'll play it ahead and he'll go after it. 81's get a change in. Schantz it comes up with it first. He'll look to the middle. Oh, Pinchev had to block that away. He had to be careful. Winterhawks control their own end. It'll come all the way into the neutral zone. Jamison Buck has it there. He'll play it ahead. It was out of the reach of Hoffman. And now here comes Trevor Smith. Smith in across the line. He gets around Buck. Smith, oh, pad save from Nelson. Nice pad save. Denver Hill has it now. He'll send it in behind the net. It's intercepted. Into the front now, oh, it's, that was dangerous. Oh, 
That could have been costly. To the net, Nelson Glove save, and it'll hang on. All right, fans, get those 50-50 tickets up. Here's the winning number, four, nine, And a uh, little pushing and shoving after the whistle. I think you could pretty much expect that throughout the entirety of the remainder of this game. We're through the halfway point of period number three. 81 still leading five to two here. Yeah, lots of talk going out there on the ice. Trevor Smith, he fanned on the shot, but it went to Fraz. Fraz tried to get it to the net, it was def it deflected there. And it's ahead now. And Pepper tried to get a hold of it, but couldn't. And it's sent all the way in now. Kowalik and Trevor Smith having a nice friendly conversation out there. I'm sure it's friendly. Zach Graham sends it ahead. Oh, that almost went to Kowalik, but it was out of his reach. Graham bodied down by Andy Mitchell and he'll send it all the way down. Nelson stopped it for Witzel in behind his own net. Fraz bodies Witzel in, but he gets it to the line. Oh, and it's intercepted though. Here comes the, oh, chance shot, scores! Uh, a giveaway in the Minto zone, and the Winterhawks take advantage, and they're on the board again here in period three. Miles McLean loaded up from the faceoff dot to the left of Nelson and blasted it by the glove hand. And with 9-12 to go in period three, the Winterhawks have drawn to within two here. We entered the third period with the Winter or the Minnow 81s leading five to one. And now the 81s are gonna get a penalty. Colin Hardwick's gonna go to the box for tripping on Matt Shields and he'll sit for two or less. And if he keeps talking, he's gonna get more. So Hardwick will go to the box for two or less with 9.05 to go. They're gonna call tripping on Hartwick. And the faceoff coming up here in the Minto zone. One back, back to the line, Hopkin across to Elder. He sends it in deep. Sent to the behind the net now. It's, oh, nice deflection by Trevor, uh, Tyler Harrison to deflect it past Josh Hopkin all the way down the ice, he'll go after it. The goal is for, for the Winterhawks is Miles McLean, and it goes unassisted. In across the line, McLean again. He comes in past Shane Ross. He'll go in behind the net now. He'll control it in still. All the way to the line, he'll circle back. He'll leave it. Oh, there's a shot, deflected, rebound. Oh, Elder almost had a chance at it, but it went all over his stick. Elder has it again. Sends it back to the point. Miles McLean puts it into Mitchell. Mitchell back to McLean, his shot. Oh, he put that over the net. It's gonna come to the line. Mitchell has it again. I think McLean broke his stick on the shot because he went off to the line, kept in by the Winterhawks. Oh, that came out in front dangerously. Back to the line, Andy Mitchell has it again. 53 seconds to go on this Winterhawks power play. That puck comes ac across and Graham just coolly plays it down the ice and they'll send the Winterhawks back. 42 seconds to go in the power play for, uh, for Sogging Shores. They trail 5-3. It comes across. This is Trent Hawk in the neutral zone. He'll play it across to Kazarian. Kazarian sends it all the way around. It's going to come all the way to Blake Underwood. Underwood sends it in to Hawk. He put it in. It's Kazarian now with it. Kazarian on the sideboards. 30, uh, 20 seconds to go in the power play. Kazarian has it again. Sends it to the line. Underwood, shot! Oh, that just missed on the glove side. Harrison comes up with it, sends it all the way down the ice. That will do it for the penalty as Hartwick has about five seconds before he rejoins the play. Underwood sends it across. This is uh, Curtis Johnston in across the line. Makes the move, shot, nice blocker save. Or uh, pad save from Nelson on Curtis Johnston. That was dangerous. Hardy, bodies Johnston. McLean has it go off his stick and away and Jamison Buck plays it ahead of Kowalik. Kowalik? Ahead to uh, Pfeffer, he puts it in across the line. Kowalik goes down. Kowalik grabs his stick and he gets back up and he'll rejoin the play. 6.38 to go here in period three. 81's leading, 5-3. It's across, Winterhawks have it again. And across the line, nice play by Whistle. Matt Shields has it now. 
He'll send it to the net. It was stopped by Nelson. That was Blundell, excuse me. Puck is dangerously in front. Oh, that just went wide to the glove of the blocker side of Nelson. Back to the line, Blundell. Across, there's a shot. That was weak on Nelson. And it's played to the corner. 81's desperately hanging on here as it's in their own end. It's been in this end for a long time. And it's going to go all the way down. And it's going to go for icing. What pressure by the Winterhawks here as they try and claw back into this game. They started the third period trailing 5-1. It's now 5-3 with six minutes to go here in period three. Face off coming up here in the uh, 81 zone. It's going to be the left-hand side of Nelson. Face off one back by the Winterhawks. There's a shot. That was deflected in front and into the netting and out of play. In behind Nelson. Five fifty-nine to play here in the third. Faceoff coming up now to the right-hand side of Nelson. Faceoff is won by Minto. Winterhawks scrumming off the draw, but it's all the way back to the line. Trevor Smith, nice job to keep it in. Oh, and that was deflected in front by Rocca. Just went wide. Puck is still controlled in the Winterhawks or in the eighty-one zone. Back to the line. Trevor Smith puts it across. Sent to the net, oh, nice pass save, Nelson. They were just out of the reach. All the way back now. This is Michael Johnstone, number 18 in Sogging Shores. He has the puck along the boards. He'll play it back to Smith. Smith will just play it in behind the 81 zone, or net. Pleon, Mike, sends it all the way out. Oh, and they're gonna say it hit the netting. And the faceoff's gonna come back. And uh, more pushing and shoving here. And I uh, think we're going to get some penalties here. Hartwick and uh, James McKay, are, they got tied up at the blue line after the whistle. And they're both going to get penalties. So we're still going to be even strength here. Five twenty-three to play here in the third. Minto leading five to three. There's five twenty-three to go, and uh, face-off coming up here to the right-hand side of Nelson. Colin Hartwick and uh, James McKeg in the box. Back to the point. Quaid put it in, but it was deflected away. Now it's going to come all the way to the Winterhawk blue line. Kowalik tried to get ahead of uh, Dial to get it, but he couldn't. Winterhawks have it again. They put it in across the line. So the uh, penalties are roughing and slashing. Roughing against Hartwick and slashing against James McKay. Face-off face -off, uh, coming up back in the middle zone after the icing call. We're at 5.05 to play here in the third. Minto clinging to a 5-3 lead. That puck is coming. Oh, nice play by Blundell to keep that puck in. Wow. He's going to get it again. Oh, oh, oh. that just missed the glove hand side after a miraculous play by Blundell on the defense. Puck comes around. Oh, Blundell, he just missed the glove hand side. And I'm, not, I'm saying not by much. Puck is out now. This is Trent Hawk with it. Shot. Pass save, Nelson. Kowalik has it now. He'll play it around the boards. It'll come all the way out, and it's going to go all the way down the ice. That had a little bit too much gas on it, and it goes for icing. So 4.32 to play here in period three. 81's leading 5-3. to three. Soggy and Shores has scored twice in this period. Matt Shields and... Miles McLean, both scoring goals to put the mid to 81 lead at two. It's uh, chippy out there. A lot of hitting, a lot of chatter, and a lot of body contact. Gotta love it. Caleb Witzel has it now. Send it ahead. Aiken sends it in, tips it in deep, and the uh, 81s will give chase. Quaid plays it away from Denver Hill. It'll come to Miles McLean. He gets bodied in there, and now it comes back to Josh Dial. He'll play it across. Quaid has it intercepted from him from Brendan Aiken. Aiken. 
does it, doing a nice job to pin it in there deep in the Winterhawks zone. Killing time, we are within, we are under four minutes to play here in period three. McLean crosses center, he'll send it in. Dial after it, it's to the middle, but nice play by Witzel to intercept. Drew Schantz has it, he'll stop, and he'll just play it away, and he'll go off the boards and all the way down, and this will go for icing. Oh, that's a tough one. But it goes for icing as Schantz played it off the boards and it was out, out of the reach of everyone. And uh, we're gonna get another offensive zone faceoff for Sogging Shores here. There's three minutes and 37 seconds left to go here in period number three. And the Sogging Shores Winterhawks lead at 5-3. There's a shot in on Nelson. He was forced to be sharp. It hit his pad on the, on the blocker side. Nice save. Winterhawks still controlling now. It's into the middle. Shields out there. He's getting, oh, the puck goes over his stick. Elder shot, that went just wide on the blocker side. To the middle now. Comes all the way to the line and out. Kowalik there against Trevor Smith. Smith send it into the overhead and uh, it's gonna be whistled down. We have three minutes and 11 seconds left to go here in period three. 81 still leading the game five to three. Got to give credits to the goalies tonight. They've looked sharp at times. Eric Pinchef and uh, Ben Nelson both look very good for both respective teams here tonight. Hartwick wins the draw, controls it back to Mike Pleon, and he puts it over to Shane Ross. Ross throws it ahead, and Hartwick tips it in, and, get, and they'll go after it now. In across the line, Trevor Smith, he'll play it ahead, and this is Curtis Johnson. He puts it in the middle to Underwood. Across, here's a shot, Nelson, oh, he, nice save from Nelson, he'll hang on. What a chance that was. For the Winterhawks to get on Nelson, he makes the save though very nicely and he'll hang on. Blake Underwood out there now with Curtis Johnson and Trent Hawk, along with Greg Tatey and Adam Blundell. Gonna have to do this face off over again. Puck is one back. Hardy plays it around. Body check by B uh, Buck was sent into the end boards. It comes to Underwood, he's got room, oh! And Ben Nelson comes out to challenge and makes a huge save at this point in the game. Wow. Underwood was all alone for what seemed like an eternity, but Nelson had to come out to cut down the angle to give him no shot at the net, and he ended up making the save very nicely and hangs on for the faceoff. There's 2.45 to play here in period three. And uh, I believe a timeout's been called here. Timeout. Minto 81 has called the 30 second timeout. Timeout called by Minto as uh, they try and regroup here. And uh, with an offensive zone faceoff coming up here for Sogging Shores and 2.45 to play here in the third period, Sogging Shores has pulled their goalie and they will play with the extra attacker here. They have poured it on in this third period. It's been an entertaining game all around here in Port Elgin, Ontario, Canada, here at the Plex. Andrew Rogers here with the play-by-play. -play. Thank you very much for watching and tuning into this point. It has been an unbelievable hockey game here tonight. Winterhawks have the extra skater out. Net is empty. Winterhawks, our 81's control off the draw. It's gonna come to the boards and it's gonna be kept in by Sogging Shores. Witzel in after it. He's gonna come up with the puck and it's gonna go off somebody. I thought that for sure it hit somebody at the 81's bench, but they play on. Puck is along the sideboards now. They fight to get it loose and it's gonna be, and it's gonna be uh, whistled down there. Some discussions as to uh, the whereabouts of the faceoff, I think, or what they're doing later on after the game. Either way, we have 2.25 to play here in period three. We're gonna get another faceoff in the 81 zone, and it's gonna come to the left-hand side of Nelson this time. Faceoff controlled by Sogging Shores. To the line, they keep it in. It's on the sideboards now, McLean. 
to the middle. Oh, nice defensive play there. Trevor Smith sends it in deep. It's to the middle. Oh, that hopped over the stick of Trent Hawk. And they can't get it out. Minto had a glorious chance to get it out, but failed to do this. Do so. It's in deep still. It's going to come to the line. Josh Dial keeps it in deep. We got two minutes to go here in period three. Going to come out, and Pfeffer does a nice job to play it into the neutral zone. Winterhawks getting a change. It's in back into the Winterhawk zone. Dial has it. He's being challenged by Adam Kowalik. Net is empty. That's dangerously across the net. And the Winterhawks are still back. 138 to go here in period three. That's intercepted by Harrison. And he's going to score into the empty net. And that makes it six to three for Minto. What a play from Tyler Harrison to intercept that pass. He goes in alone and he had the net at his mercy and he put it in. And that puts the winner or the 81 lead back at three. And with 132, you have to imagine that that will do it. Now we'll just see how the remaining 132 plays out in terms of uh, how physical this third period is gonna be. Harrison goal will be unassisted. That's in on Nelson, and, and he'll hold it for a faceoff. So with uh, 122 to play, offensive zone faceoff coming up for uh, Soggy and Shores. Minto 81's leading now, six to three. Puck is sent out, Ross plays it off the glass and out. Nick Quaid back to get it. Hoffman up there on the four check. Comes to uh, James McKeg. Denver Hill does a nice job to get in the way of that and he'll send it down the ice. We're approaching the final minute here at the Plex in Port Elgin. Puck comes to Rocca. Rocca sends it back to James McKeg. He'll send it ahead. He'll come in across the line. Sent to Rocca. Oh, what a save from Nelson. Wow, that was miraculous. <laughs> I don't even think Nelson believed that he stopped that. It ended up in his equipment. Wow, what a save. Sometimes you need to be lucky to be good, eh, Ben? Wow, what a save. 48 seconds to play here in period three. 81's leading six to three. Puck is in the skates of uh, Brendan Aiken. He'll be sent all the way into the Winterhawk zone. 42 seconds to play here in period three. Winterhawks skate it out of their own end into the neutral zone. It'll come over to Nick Quaid. Quaid in across the line. Had to go off of his stick though, and it's uh, into, the, into the zone now. Across, this is James McKaig. McKaig has it on the sideboards. So he'll put it towards the net. Nelson makes another save. Into the middle. Oh, and that went away from the blocker side of Nelson. 17 seconds to go here in period three. Buckets to the middle. Gonna come around the net and in behind. Nice job by Jake Pleon. Sends it around, it's to the point. This is gonna go to, oh, it's gonna be played on the high stick and they're gonna whistle it down. We're gonna do one more face off here. Four seconds remain and uh, they're just gonna let the time run out to avoid any other disasters. 6-3 is the final. Minto takes this one, it's their third win in a row. They improve to four, six and one on the season. Well, for the Winterhawks, it's loss number two. They fall to 10 and two on the year. A huge win for the 81s. Zach Graham with five points tonight. He had an unbelievable game as did that line. 81s take it. Ben Nelson gets the W in net for the winner or for the 81s. Eric Pinchev gets the loss in net for Sogging Shores. That'll do it. From the Plex here in Port Elgin, Andrew Rogers signing off. Till next time, have a good night and drive safe.